February 2013, we went to Embedded World, a big exhibition in Nuremberg, Germany. 900 companies were exhibiting all kinds of hardware and software related to embedded systems there. Many big companies showed up. To lure visitors into their booths, many companies offered various kinds of food for them. This is where the software was exhibited. Minix was in this hall. Here are Ben and Kay setting up our stand. Here's the stand after it's been set up. Hi, I'm Andy Tannenbaum, and we're here at Embedded World in Nuremberg, and we're demonstrating Minix, and we have a version now running on the ARM processor. Here is a Beagle board, as you can see, and Minix is a fault-tolerant system that can repair itself. Our demo here is people can push this red button, and you can see here on the screen, um, it injected errors into the system. We crashed one of the drivers, the frame buffer driver, and the system automatically detected that and automatically you know, came back and restarted the system. And this is important for applications that need very high reliability and dependability. And Minix runs a full POSIX uh, environment, so programmers who are used to the POSIX environment and Unix and so on can get to work immediately. They don't have to learn a new proprietary interface. So that makes it much easier for um, development and we're trying to find some uh, people who are interested in Minix here. We have uh, flyers and stuff, information, CD-ROMs, it's open source. If you go to minix3.org, you can download all the source code as well as the CD-ROM image for booting from the website minix3.org, and you can try it out yourself. Let's try that again a bit more slowly now. Here's a demo of the fault tolerance of Minix. We have a video playing, and periodically we kill the driver, as you just saw the, the glitch there, and it automatically restarts itself without any intervention from uh, the users. So for very fault tolerant applications, applications that need high reliability and high dependability, this is very nice. That was it, time to go home.